Touch of Class, written and directed by Michali Swainston Harrison and Thomas Harris, produced for The Fundamentals. Episode 2, Dress to Impress. Right, the sign is done, uh, but you do know... Uh, Donna, other, um... Donna, speak to the commoner. You know how I feel about such interactions. <laughs> y- yes, we'll head inside and prepare for our grand opening. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> I'm sorry about them. They're a bit stuck at their own... Well, you know. Did you put up the sign? Yeah, about that. They are aware of how it reads. <laughs> Not exactly. They're very proud of their surname. That's their surname! God help them. Anyway, thanks for coming today. No worries. Uh, Good luck with the, um, uh, the, uh, you know. I'm gonna need it. All right, that is the last your father's money spent. Let's just pray that nothing else breaks. Have you checked the lights yet? No, we were waiting for you. Here goes. (laughs) It works, it works. Wow. Well, I think that's just about ready for the grand opening. (laughs) You can't be serious. You have three tables, two chairs, a stool and a... Grandfather clock that is always at 1pm. You can hardly call that an antique shop. Actually, I found a wooden chest in the back office. We have a back office? Well, it's more of a cupboard, but I have decided to transform it. Now that is a plan. Hmm. Sorry, can we get back to the fact that we have hardly any stock and a chest does not change that? But you don't know what's inside. You found something. Oh, is it? Is it father's treasure? Father had treasure? Well, well I, I don't know, but... Um, <laughs> but you, you, you just... Well, you... No, but how am I supposed to know? You, 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 you're the one that well, said you something. Said, like, you said, you know, but, is it father's well, treasure? Well, I'm only guessing because you said, guess what's inside. Oh, shut know. up! Roger, what is inside the chest? Nothing, it was empty. But, but you just said, oh, oh you don't God. know what's inside it yet, suggesting that there was something inside of it, Roger. Well, you didn't know what was inside, so I... Well, no, I, I didn't. Well, Roger, why would you say that? Why on earth would you even say that? Like, well, get to me all excited. It's not what you're talking about. It's not what you're talking about. Quite literally, nothing. Roger made it seem like there was something inside of it. can't open the shop until we have a decent amount of stock. We need at least one more clock and one that works. Or we could remove the S from the clocks on our sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, like the joke you made the other day. Tables yes. and clock. Brilliant. <laughs> You're such a joker. <laughs> oh my God. Can you focus for one minute, please? Blasphemy. Oh, for fuck. Oh, Donna, right. I will not have such language in the workplace. Oh, yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry. Hmm. But can we please discuss stock? Well, uh, last I heard, Father said that avocados were the best investment, and that is why he moved to Colombia. How many times do I have to tell you he moved there for his new wife? Jeremy. Not the stocks. Stock. Our stock. Inventory. We need more. Donna, please. Use your inside voice. But you two are shout... Shh. Yes. Never mind. Can we please just think about getting more stock? Very well. (laughs) But I do recall you saying that we have used all of Father's money. (laughs) We could use the credit card. You do know how credit works, right? Yes, of course. Uh, We had no money and now we have money. Um, Not exactly. Donna, quiet. We have now made our decision. Credit it shall be. Yes. (laughs) Okay, well then, there's an antique show about half an hour from here. Why don't we pop along and return with a few more antiques? Mm -hmm. And finally, restore the S in clocks. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, 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 Roger. Roger, you... Oh, that is such a good joke. It was such a joke. Like the one you made the other day. Honestly. <laughs> clock into the clocks. <laughs> Very good, yes. Oh. Oh, well, we better get dressed up for the occasion, shan't we? <laughs> we could try out the new office. Oh, yes, the back office. <laughs> we might even find some treasure if we're lucky. <laughs> Jeremy, there, uh, uh, there is no treasure. Y- yes, maybe not. Um. <gasps> 
But what if there is? minutes since we agreed on going to that show. You really don't need to get changed. Come on. Donna, as my father used to say, dress to impress. <laughs> yeah, and he ends up impressing some cheap whore from Colombia who's after the family fortune. What was that, Donna? Uh, I said you'll end up missing the show. Uh, no, 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 no. You said something about um, Colombia. Just that there's a Colombian piece there and it's probably gone by now. Well, we wouldn't want it anyway. Ta-da! Oh, God. Guys, you do not need to wear a top hat and a monocle to an antique show. We know it looks silly, Donna. That is because we haven't got our canes. <laughs> Where are they? Here's mine. Wh where's mine? Uh, how would I know? Because your voice has gone up an octave, which shows you are lying about it, and you do know. No, that, that's not it. Uh, that's just me practising my auction voice. Here! Okay. Um, Donna, where's my cane? You mean the stick that's broken in half over there? Excuse me, what? What? My, my cane? Who? Who? Who did this? Who did it? You? Oh! Who? What? Who? Who is the cop? Who um, is the cop? It's, it's it's probably that that lowly sign man waving his hammer about. Uh, you know, jealous of your class. Roger, he didn't even come into the shop. You know that much. Great lie, Roger. You, you, you silly, stupid, cue jumping, lying braggart! Why did you break it? It, it wasn't on purpose. I promise. What? 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 Did you just sneeze and it broke? No, there was a, a rat. So I kind of threw your cane at it. I was scared. What? Not only is it broken, it probably has rat juice on it. You... No, I <sighs> missed. Uh, oh, great. That makes it all the better. What were you thinking? You, you've always lost at the javelin throwing. Goodness. Shut up, you two. Goodness. <sighs> You sound like my two nieces when they break their toy car. Give it here. No! Uh, the rat could be there, hiding behind it, ready to strike again. Jesus. No, Judas, because that is what you are, Roger. Judas. Shut up the pair of you. Pass that duct tape. There. No, 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 no! Now I look stupid! I could just go alone. Give us yours. N no! There. You're both the same now. Let's just go! Goodness me. Wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. Hmm, yes. Maybe, maybe she has anger issues. Or jealousy issues. Oh, don't you mean working class issues? Yes, definitely. Should we book her in for a counselling session? Or even she might have daddy issues like us, yes. Yes, but, but how will yes. we pay for... Yes. What? Da daddy issues? We, oh, oh, we no, don't no, have no, daddy no, 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 sorry, no, no, I didn't say that. I, I mean, if she needed one, uh, we, could, we could use the credit card, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, we could. <laughs> yes, just, just wait till father sees us again. 
I, I... I thought you said he wasn't coming back. What? Oh. Yes, I did. Uh, oh well. I miss Mummy being happy. So do I. She's never really been the same, has she? No. You know what? There's only one word for father. What's that? Judas. <laughs> yes. You're right, um... He's the Judas. Yes. Sorry for calling you that, Roger. No, forgive me. I shouldn't have thrown your cane. <laughs> Don't worry. The tape makes us fit in a bit more now. <laughs> True, like the commoners. Let's go. Yes, yes. God bless them. Where's Donna got to? Uh, I, I saw her head around here. Here! Oh! oh, oh, oh Don't do that, Donna! Jeez. Lurking around there like a youth! <sighs> That's for saying I have anger issues. Uh, oh, you heard that? Well, yes, it's a small space and you two aren't particularly subtle. <laughs> well, anyway, you want me to buy you an ice cream on the way? Yes. <laughs> we can always put it on the... The, the... the credit card! Yes, we can put it on the yes. credit card! Yes, this is going to be such a good day. A Touch of Class, written and directed by Micheli Swainston Harrison and Thomas Harris. Jeremy, played by Thomas Harris. Roger, played by Micheli Swainston Harrison. Donna, played by Sean McLaughlin. Sign Man, played by Taylor Maguire. <laughs>